Alright, so we're still on day one of the training for me anyways. Already got 30 active subscribers from that out of place video I showed you guys earlier. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to basically go over the basics of mini chat and your dashboard and just the basics of your of your chatbot in general. All right. So the first thing I want you to know is that you have a direct link to your chatbot or just a direct link in, in Messenger. Everybody has these regardless of whether they have a chatbot or not. You'll notice that it's literally if you go to your Facebook page, you'll notice that it's literally your Facebook page, that um, at sign that you created, you know, your page name, so your username, it's literally just that um, behind it, m.me link. So you can do this for anybody. If you go to m.me and let's say you go to, you know, um, john.vaughn.ceo, if you go to that link, you'll actually notice that this is my username. If you look, john.vaughn.ceo, it just actually opens up a, it just actually opens up a, a link to talk to me. If you look, here's Munir. He's one of my Facebook friends. And if I go to facebook.com and then just go to backslash and put in that, that's his Facebook username, it brings up his profile. Um, and if I go to m.me and then go to that, it's literally just going to actually bring me up a, a chat with him in messenger so your chatbot has one as well you can see it's right here you can give this link to people and if they go to this link right here they're going to get directly into your chatbot and your welcome screen and we're going to go over that welcome screen in just a minute all right so if they've never actually interacted with your chatbot whatsoever so we're just going to come over here to my chatbot we're going to go to this message right here and this is my chatbot we've been we've been building already and this thing together in this training, we're going to delete this conversation and go to test button. You see this welcome screen that comes up right here. If they go to that, if they go to that link, then they're going to come right to that get started page. All right. So they're going to come right to that get started page unless they're a member of your chatbot already. If they've already hit click started and they've already gotten into your chatbot, they're going to go to your welcome message. And we're going to talk about that welcome message. But this is a this is a link that you can give people just to get inside your chatbot not the main one I recommend. I'm going to show you later on in one of the other tra trainings, the ref URLs and show you how to get people in specific spots in your chat bot. All right. So in mini chat in your dashboard, you're going to find that you're going to be able to connect to SMS and email. We'll talk about that later. You're going to be able to see all your active subscribers here. You'll see, you know, all your active subscribers here and uh, a lot of information, you know, the, the last modified flows that you have, just some information about all your content, you know, the flows, growth pools, sequences, ads, um, your different trigger words, your AI, your keywords. We're going to get into all that. Don't worry. Some, you know, sponsored stuff. This is just sponsored stuff by Minichat. So your dashboard is just going to basically show you over time your growth, your active subscribers, net subscribers, subscribers and unsubscribers. You know, you can filter by time and you'll, you'll get to know your chat bot. All right. So here's your audience. This is literally just your audience. This is everybody that is in your chat bot. That's a user in your chat bot that you can actually reach that has subscribed. So these are literally, this is your subscriber list. You can come in here and filter based on a bunch of different conditions. And we're going to be going over this in a later training. But if you want to find those people there, they're inside here. You can search them. Here's a, you know, uh, some really, really simple and quick shortcuts to go in. And you see all it did over here was filter. And you've got some bulk actions that you can perform on people. And again, we're going to get into this more in depth as the training goes on right now. I just want to give you some basic information. All right. Live chat is where you can actually uh, have a live chat with somebody. And we're going to actually get into this, how you can trigger a live chat. Somebody can decide they want to talk to you. And then you can actually stop the chat bot so they can't interact with the chat bot. And you can have a live conversation. And whenever you're done with the live conversation, you can end that live conversation and basically turn the chat bot back on for them. All right. I'm going to show you how to do all that. Um, but whenever you want to have a live chat with somebody, like actually have a live chat with somebody, you can do that through your Facebook page itself through the messages tab. So you can just go to your inbox tab and you can have a live chat with somebody um, or you can do it, you know, for mini chat. You can do it right inside mini chat. It's not a feature in chat fuel, but you can do it in mini chat. Here's your growth tools. These are all different ways that you can use to help you grow your chat bot, help you get, you know, more and more subscribers inside your chat bot. We'll go over these. These are your widgets and then your actual paid ads. So we'll go over the paid ads as it relates to mini chat. I'll release a whole nother training course for you guys as well because I, I love you guys and I like to provide value um, for you. So if you're on the $7 membership, I'm going to give you a whole uh, another training course on Facebook ads because lucky for you, I got to start my entire ads account over um, this year. So you'll get to see from, from the very beginning, I'll teach you Facebook ads as well. Broadcasting, this is where you're going to actually send a whole broadcast message. So you're going to send a broadcast message. Paid messages are essentially ads, all right? So these are these are paid messages and these are ads that you're going to be able to actually send out to, to people as well, all right? Um, 
So this is if you want to have an actual paid promotion. So we'll go over all this, these broadcasting and, and everything. And you're going to be able to create a new broadcast and a new broadcast flow. And we'll teach you all that. So don't worry about that. Here's automations, different automations. We're going to spend a lot of time here. This is where we're going to go in and actually spend a, a whole lot of time. All right. And we're about to go in and get all this basic stuff set up in this training video. I'm going to try to be as fast as possible. Here's your flows. And we're going to go over flows. I'm going to teach you everything about flows. But this is basically like a, a template that you want to put people through. It's going to make a lot more sense. You know, you already watched me build one in the out of place training. I'm going to get in and we're going to, we're going to go in and, and use these and create all these. Don't worry about this. Here's your settings tab. So you have a whole lot of different settings. All right. We're going to go over a little bit, a little bit of that in the, in this video. We're going to go over your general settings and how to do your live chat, you know, settings for your actual growth tools, how you want to receive notifications, custom fields, all this. But I just want you to know there's your settings tab. These are templates that you can get right from mini chat. So you can get these templates. They're kind of pre-built already. Um, here's your profile and some information about your profile, um, pages that you have connected here, templates that, that you have, and then basically, uh, you know, some information for your, for your API. If you want to actually use the API, you don't have to worry about that yet. So we'll get into that. That will be a lot more advanced. We're going to go from basic to advanced. Here's if you actually need to get any type of help whatsoever. You can join the, you can join the community. Uh, you can you can join the community all sorts of good stuff so this is all the basic stuff that you need to know all right so now let's get into some some basic setup now i told you if you give somebody your link right here and they they haven't ever interacted with your chat bot and they go to interact with your chat bot What's going to happen is they're going to get into your welcome message. This is whenever somebody first comes into your welcome message. So we're going to go ahead and set that welcome message up because we really need to actually have that. So here's a welcome message already. So what we're going to do is we're just going to essentially go in and actually build this. You see, here's a starting, here's a starting step right here. So this is, the starting step is where it's going to, going to start. And this is just going to be you actually, uh, you actually welcoming people. And here, you know, they've added this in here. I'm going to go through, and this is going to make more sense whenever we, whenever we go over flows. But this is essentially a flow. But as it re relates right now, we're just going to go in and actually, you know, set up our welcome message. All right. And it's just going to say, you know, hey. And then we're going to put in their first name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to link up to my personal Facebook page here. All right. So you can see all I'm really doing is just creating a message. I'm going to add a button real quick. You can just watch and I'll teach you more about this in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to teach you a little bit more about this in a little bit. And this is just going to be my welcome message. All right. And I'm going to publish this and I'm going to teach you all about these flows. I just want you to understand the welcome message. And hopefully you can follow along with what I've just done so far. It's been relatively easy, right? Super, super simple. Um, so we're going to go in here. We can go back to John Vaughn. And I can go right back here to my page as well, you know, but this is me. This is my chat bot. So I'm just going to hit get started. And now that I'm hitting get started, I'm going to go into that welcome message. All right. So you can see. Here's my welcome message. Now, just a rule of thumb, I'm going to give you some good content here. Just a rule of thumb, what I like to do is if this is bigger than the chat window, I don't like people to have to scroll up. So since it's bigger and they're going to have to scroll up, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically add another text here. All right. And I'm basically going to take this right here. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to put this text right back up here. And then basically I'm going to put a delay and have like a three second delay right here between these guys, all right? So now this is a, a little bit bigger message, as you can see, and I'm just gonna hit this preview button and preview it out to myself, all right? So I'm gonna hit this preview button, and there you can go. You can see now it's all fitting on the screen, right? They're not having to scroll. They didn't have to scroll. Probably need a little bit more time than, than three seconds, so I'm just gonna put a five second delay there, 
and I'm going to preview that out again real quick. So you can see, all right, everything's on the screen. They can easily see the screen. They can read everything, and they don't have to scroll up. And then now, once they get done reading the first thing, they can read the second thing. And if they want to come out to my personal Facebook profile, they can just click on this, and it's going to take them right out to my my Facebook profile. All right. So now we have our welcome message set up. That's a big thing we wanted to get done. Next thing we want to get done is just set up our default reply. All right. So we want to actually set up our default reply. Now we're going to create a flow for this. I'm going to go in and actually show you uh, all of this. All right. Um, so I'm going to show you all all of this here real quick. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to create a basics. We're just going to create a basics folder here. And then we're going to go into this basics and we're going to create a new flow. And it's going to be called default reply. All right. And we're going to create this. Now this default reply is is literally um if a person sends us a text message and we don't know what that and if they send us a message and we don't know how to answer it this is what we can send them all right so i'm going to give you an example of it here is my chat bot and i'm just going to say hey you what's up you nothing's happening from my chat bot now i'm going to come back over here to the default reply and i'm just going to go in and say um hey first name All right, so now I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna have that, and I'm gonna publish this right here. And now basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here to this automation, I'm gonna go to my default reply, and I'm gonna set another flow. And that flow is gonna be here in my basic, and I'm gonna set this flow as my default reply, all right? So I'm gonna set this as my default reply, and I just set this here, and I'm gonna enable this. And now whenever I enable this, you can see that it says enables and fires once per 24 hours or every time. So let's leave it on every time real quick and let's come over here and say these messages again. Hey, you. Oh, sorry. Hey, let's make sure that we turn this on. All right. So we did actually turn this on. And you can say, look, I, I sent that message. Hey, you. What's up, you? You can see every single time it's replying back with that default reply. All right, so that's what's going on right now. Every single time it's re replying back with that default reply. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to change this to once every 24 hours um, because I only want this once every 24 hours. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more thing and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to basically add an action here. All right, so I'm going to continue to another step. And I'm going to add an action. And this action is going to be uh, notify admin, subscribe to trigger and trigger mat, doo -doo -doo, SML email, opt out, unsubscribe from bot, doo -doo -doo, notify admins. So I'm going to do mark conversation is open and notify admins. All right. So I'm going to get to later on what this is going to do for you. And I'm just going to publish this. And now if you look, if I come in here and say, hey, little bro, then you can see what's going to actually ha happen. I said, hey, little bro. And actually what I want to do real quick is now that this is published, I'm going to go back to every time and just have this on every time and say again, hey, little bro. And now I've actually turned that back on again. And you can see now I've, I've, sent that message back. Here's my auto response I sent back. Here's my default message. And you can see it says right here, uh, a text below is a notification from John Vaughn bot. John Vaughn just did something you you wanted to know about. So now I can click check in live chat and this is going to open up that live chat. We haven't talked about that yet, but this is actually going to open up that live chat. So now I can actually have a live chat right with this person. So I can go in and actually chat with this person. Uh, 
that my bot wasn't able to talk to. All right, so now I'm gonna change this back to once every 24 hours because that's all I want. Now I have my default reply set up. So now I have my welcome message, my default reply. The next thing we're gonna do is just our main menu. We really wanna have our main menu set up and you don't have to have yours totally set up right now. I just wanna tell you about it because it's the basics and you can do it as homework, all right? So this right here, these three little things, this is your actual menu, all right? So you can drive people, um, you can drive people to, you can drive people to anywhere that you want to actually go. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to set this up here and I'm going to go in and edit my menu here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and I'm going to put in here, you know, free training. So, and I'm just going to basically say reply with a message, open a website, open a sub menu. I'm going to actually open up I'm going to reply with a message, all right? And I'm going to create a new message here. So I'm going to create a new message. And literally, I'm just going to come in here and create a message. I'm going to teach you more about this in a little bit. Don't worry. Uh, we'll have to go through all this. But I just want you guys to, if you do this, you'll start getting the hang of everything anyways, all right? So, um, So I'm going to open up a website here and right now I'm going to put in, you know, um, HTTPS start.johnvon.il and then later on I'm going to go in and show you, you know, uh, I'm going to go in and actually replace this with a tracking link so that I can actually track conversions coming from this and you know, I could actually do that right now but I'm not going to do that right now, all right? So I'm just going to go in and actually do that right now and I'm going to publish this. And then come back here to my main menu. And then I'm basically going to edit my menu. And then I'm going to say that I'm replying with this message right here. And I'm going to be done. All right. So now I just want to show you that, hey, in this message right here, this was free training. So I'm going to create a menu right here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and actually edit this. No, that's actually fine. I just want you to see that it's right there. I just want I just want you to see that 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 this welcome message has actually or this not this message. Sorry. I just want you to see that this free training right here that this I just want you to see that this that this free training right here has that message that we created has been created right here where you can go back and edit it or you can move it around later. So we went in here to this main menu and we essentially want to update this main menu now. And what we did is we put a, a free training here. So we put a free training here and we can put other stuff here as well. If we want to put other stuff here, here as well. Right now, we're just going to have a free training and that's all we're going to have right now. And then we're going to get back into that main menu in a, in a little bit and add even more stuff once we go over some of the other real, real basic stuff of our, of our chat bot. All right. So right now, I just kind of want you to understand the basic stuff and then we're, we're going to get, get into the other stuff. Now you can see I've went ahead and on my menu, I have that free training. That person can click on that free training. And then now guess what? They're going to get a message. Again, I want you guys to keep in mind that you like to keep your messages spaced out. You don't want the user having to scroll at any time. So if your message becomes bigger than what can actually fit right here inside their message window, you really want to condense that message down into two different messages with some typing in between. And what you want to do is you really want to match the, the content output with user consumption. So you want to match your messages, the, the output at which you're giving those messages to basically the same speed at which average users can consume your message. All right. 
So you don't want to dump so much text on people so fast because if you dump a whole bunch, they may not read it. But if you dump a little bit, they're going to read that little bit. And once they read that little bit and invest in time, they're most, they're, more likely to read your next chunk and the more chunks that they read the more that they're going to engage and the more they're going to spend with you okay you don't want them to feel if you have a huge message you don't want them to feel overwhelmed and you don't want to inconvenience them you know if they're scrolling on facebook and this message pops up and they have to stop scrolling around facebook and come over here and scroll and look all the way up in your message they may not do that all right but if if they can scroll around Facebook and they can see everything in your message right here and still scroll down and, and read your message and then see that you're typing and see the next message come and literally they can, can, they're consuming your content at the same pace that you're giving it to them. They're going to have a much better experience and you're going to get a, you're going to get a whole lot more engagement from them. All right. So we've already updated our menu and that's all we, that's all we really needed to do right now. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to come into our settings real quick. And we're going to go to this greeting text. Now, I showed you already, um, I showed you already this greeting text. All right. We're going to delete this conversation real quick. And then I'm just going to come back to my page and I'm going to click test this button. We're going to see that greeting again. All right. So I showed you that greeting and we created this greeting already. And you can also create it right here. All right. So I'm going to go in here and just say, Hey, first name. All right, so now I'm going to actually see how this looks. All right, so I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to condense this down. And I'm going to save that. All right, so now I'm just literally going to come in here and refresh this. And you can see there's my greeting text, all right? So there's my greeting text. So just save that. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna make sure our greeting text is set. You'll wanna set your, your bot time zone to whatever it is that you want, and you can use your own bot time zone. I like to use Eastern time myself is what I like to use. Eastern tan standard time. So I like to use Eastern standard time is what I like to use, but they're all the same. So I'm just going to use Cancun because it's all the same. Uh, EST, EST. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. And there's other stuff that you can do here, like keyboard input. If you don't want people, this keyboard input is basically: Do you want people to be able to actually give you give you input into your keyboard or not? Should people be able to actually type physically type to you? I want people to be able to physically type to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let them have key, keyboard input. All right. So now I'm done with everything. These are all the basics. Now there's other stuff that we can go in and we're going to get through all of this inside the training. Don't worry about that. We're going to get through everything in here inside the training. But I wanted to get these basics set up because now that we have these basics set up, we can actually, 
um, we can actually go in and we can start building our audience in our chatbot, start using our chatbot, and it can just grow from here. It can grow from here. These are all the basics. So again, just to go over the basics, we kind of went over the dashboard, and then we just basically went to our automation tab. We set up our main menu, and this is our main menu once we hit, all right, so once we, let's start with wh what matters. We went in, and we'll show you everything, all right? We went in, and we set up our greeting text. All right, now our greeting text is the first thing somebody's going to see. They're gonna see that greeting text right here, and then they're gonna be able to get st click get started to interact with your bot. So we just went to our settings, we went to general settings, and we came right here to that greeting text, and we just put in our greeting text and saved it, so now somebody can see our greeting text here. Then they can click get started, and whenever they click get started, these people are actually going to go right into our welcome message. So we went to automation, and we went to welcome message, and we created this message right here. So we created this message right here. As you can see, the same message that we just sent him, sent them right here. We created this message, all right? So we created this message for them and our welcome message. And as soon as somebody comes in, um, as soon as somebody comes in, either by clicking that get started like we just did, or if you share this link to them and they go directly to this link, they're going to go to your welcome message. They're gonna go first to that get started screen if they're not a bot subscriber already, and then they're gonna to go to, to your welcome message. If they already are a bot subscriber, they're just going to go to be able to actually message you. So they're just gonna open up a, a chat thread with yourself. So they're not gonna get your welcome message again. That welcome message is only gonna get triggered whenever they click that get started button. Uh, is only whenever it's gonna get triggered if they're not a bot subscriber. So once they click get started, just like we did, they're gonna to go to that welcome message. So we set that up, all right? Then if a user types something in and you don't have keywords set up for it or you don't know what they're, they're, they're giving you some input and you don't know what to do with that input, we're gonna get into keywords and everything in a little bit. Uh, but if, if your bot doesn't understand what they're saying, we set up a default reply. If you remember, we set up our default reply to only fire once every 24 hours. If I put it on every time, then again, what's that, what that means is, you know, uh, anything. If, if your bot doesn't know what it is that they're, t what they're, what it is that they're telling you, then they're going to get that default reply. So we set up a default reply, just gave them a text, and we also set up notifications to send me, myself, my personal, like I will get this is this is literally it's weird because it may be weird for you guys because it's me from my personal profile, you know, talking to my business page, my persona page as me as an entrepreneur. So it looks the same. It's John Vaughn talking to John Vaughn. Literally, it, they look like the exact same person. And that's done on purpose for marketing purposes. All right. You guys should have your own persona page. There's a whole nother training video that talks about persona pages, why you should have persona pages and how they're actually helpful helpful to you. All right. So the point is, if if your chatbot doesn't understand the message right now, my chatbot doesn't understand anything. I'm dumb. My chatbot doesn't understand anything. Um, so I'm dumb. And you can see my chatbot instantly replies with that. We went back in and we essentially did this once every 24 hours. And then the other thing we went in is to our main menu. Now, once somebody subscribes to your chatbot and gets in your chatbot, there's this little hamburger bur menu over here. They can click on that, and it's a it's a navigation menu where you can, you know, these are like call to actions. I want people to be able to easily go in and get my free training, the same training that that you know be, that you guys probably came in. You know, all you guys probably a lot of you guys now probably actually came through that free training and then bought this paid training for seven dollars a month that hopefully you guys are loving so much. Um, if not, fuck off, and you know, I guess don't. Fuck off, I guess just keep watching the training because it's going to get so much better. All right. Um, or fuck off either way. So we set up our, we set up our main menu. All right. And then we just basically, that's all we really did. Those are the main things that we actually needed to do. Now that we have those things done, uh, now that we have those things done, then we can begin building out the rest of our chat about we can build more and more stuff. And I'm going to give you more and more training so that you can learn everything else inside here. All right. So. So now we've got the basics built of our chatbot. That's all we need to do in this video. It was a little bit long. Um, so now what I want you guys to do is make sure you have the same components built inside your chatbot. Make sure you have at least one thing in your menu just so that you're comfortable with that menu. Make sure you have your welcome message. Make sure you have your default reply. Make sure that you have your, your greeting set up. Uh, 
and then you, we can move on and we can actually start learning more. I'll go in and teach you more and more stuff so that you understand what it is that you're actually doing. Hopefully now you've understood just a little bit and we're going to get you closer and closer and closer to being a fucking chatbot expert.